What's up peeps, Mark Roney here. Um, it's been a while since we've done any demos. Um, it's been busy with um, work and whatnot. And um, just creating that magic in the music on the music side. But um, we've just finished uh, the new Ill Semantics album. Um, and I just thought, shucks, you know, now that I can relax on the music side in terms of that, I can focus on doing some, some demos that you, know, you might be able to learn from and showcase some of the music. A couple of nights ago on social media, um, I put a picture of a fettuccine carbonara, which the family love. It's real basic to do, so I decided, shucks, I've got a couple of friends that have oh, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real simple to do, I'll show you my style, um, and hopefully, you know, you guys can do it tomorrow or whatnot. But, uh, uh, so what you need is uh, some fettuccine. This is sort of, uh, I mean, we'd love to make some, but we don't have a pasta machine. But this is some cheap stuff from Pam's. Uh, three bucks, mate. Fed family of four. Some bacon, and I got the cheapest bacon at Pack and Save. You know, I'm all about cheap product, but making it taste super good. Garlic. Uh, onion. Cream, because uh, I use cream in my uh, fettuccine carbonara. Um, some white wine. Some white wine. And um, basically, yeah, we're ready to cook. What I've done is basically just diced some bacon, about three rashes there of streaky bacon. You can use whatever bacon you want. Um, just depends on you know me. I try to go for the the tastiest but the cheapest stuff possible. You know, it's all about saving a dollar where you can. Um, dice some red onion and some garlic mint and so that's the basic prep you need for the base of your cabanara um, and your fettuccine so what you need to do open up a pack of fettuccine and pop that into boiling hot salted water Just trying to cool it and let it cool by itself without sticking. So just every now and then, just keep fluffing it up. And all I do is crack a bit of salt and pepper onto this as well. Cool. Over here, I have the diced stuff that I'm gonna cook with. So follow me to the stove. I have gas, hot pan, oil. What I'm gonna do now is basically get that nice and ready. My concoction in my bowl here, which is the diced onion, garlic, and bacon. I have a hot pan on, gas, it doesn't have to be gas. Um, and I've got my wine ready to go as well. Um, and basically, just to get that nice and smoking hot because you like to seal off the, the ingredients in this, in this bowl here. So, you know, it's not super hot, but we'll get, get it started. So what we're doing is sauteing this one. And this is a portion for one really. So the lucky person that gets to eat this tonight will probably be my son. Um, so he'd be pretty happy about that. You know he loves his Italian. He always says that um, I can't cook carbonara like the La Fogetta. La Fogetta. Nigga please. I've got this cupboard. Over here. See that? Just let that caramelize a little. The caramelization of this man. 
What up to my man DJ Rimmelus? What up, boy? Just caramelizing my uh, my ingredients here, brother. Give it a bit of a toss. I'm pretty good at that. And then what I want to do now is add my Jacob Jacob's Creek. Jacob's Jacob's Creek Chardonnay and the reason I'm using Chardonnay is because it's a cream based um, pasta and Chardonnay is quite a rich buttery type um, white wine which is you know it's quite smooth in texture um, velvety on the, uh, on, the, on the tongue so it's pretty good and then all I'm doing is deglazing or adding this white wine and I'm, as you can see I like to use a little bit more wine than normal so if you're a church goer, do not use too much, um, otherwise your priest will give you a slap. Unless he wants to come home and eat, you know, and partake of the holy food. So, um, and then all I'm going to do is um, reduce that. And then all I'm going to do now is add cream. And then reduce that more. And that's basically your sauce. So that should take about two, three minutes, dependent on um, how far you want to reduce it. As you can see, it's nicely reduced, and all I'm going to do is crack some pepper into that. This is a, needs a bit more flavour. Beautiful, look at that. Nice and re reduced, you know, it's quite thick. And if it reduces too much, all you can need to do is a bit of this. Add some more wine. I think my son's going to get drunk. Jeepers. There you go. And then, once you get it to that consistency, just grab your pasta, and add your portion. Oh, and then give it a toss. Stir it. As you see, these, by the end of it, there's actually not too much sauce, and it's all latched onto the pasta. See, it's just enough to coat it, so it's not too rich and too sickening. And that's pretty much ready to go, but before I do so, classic thing I do, an egg. I crack an egg, oh, I crack an egg into it. Because traditionally, it was all about cracking an egg, and then I give it a, a, a final toss. Because the like egg and bacon, marriage made in heaven. Boom, there you go, there you have it, a quick carbonara. What I need to what I need to mention is basically, my son doesn't like mushrooms really, so um, I left the mushrooms out. Um, mushrooms are essential, obviously, um, but if, if you don't like it, you just leave it out. If you don't like onion, you leave it out, so yeah, cooking is easy. Um, what we do have is parmesan, um, and this is the final touch, you just sprinkle a bit on. This is like $3 from, um, Pack and save. I always endorse pack and saves only because uh, it's where, where I shop. In a lovely sprig of thyme. Boom. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful fettuccine carbonara or no mushrooms. Lovely.